okay. The blues, what, what key? You pick the... The C or the... Our C? Okay. All right. <laughs> At last, the key to great sax. Ever wondered how professional players hit those piercing high notes that amateurs just can't reach? A UNSW researcher has discovered the secret. Using a modified sax, Chen Zhe Ming has recorded precisely how the pros wow their audiences. So we call this a Franken sax, and uh, it's, it's a standard uh, saxophone that we've uh, modified a little bit. He's found that when it comes to those high notes, it all comes down to how professionals tune their vocal tracks. By tuning the resonances in their throat, sax players can reach as much as an octave and a half above the natural range of the instrument. OK, Cole, could you hit the third octave D, please? It's very much like when you've got laryngitis and you go to talk and you can't and you go like that. There's been a debate going on in the last 25 years in the acoustic community where uh, scientists um, and some musicians have, uh, have, have made rather different claims about the how the vocal tract was involved when uh, you would play a wind instrument. Uh, there were some, some scientists that said that Oh, the vocal tract has negligible effect on how you sound an instrument. And there have been other people that said that, oh, you have to adjust your throat to fit every note that you sound. The main point of this rig is uh, what's happening in the mouthpiece. We want to study Cole's uh, vocal tract, what he's doing with it. So we've got um, this setup where we have a sound source that we put in through the microphone, it comes up from uh, the speaker into, Joe's, uh, into Cole's mouth. And, and from the reflections that come back out from his mouth again, we've got a microphone again fitting through the uh, saxophone mouthpiece to pick up the signal that we, uh, that we then analyse to find out the resonances in his throat. The experimental instrument required some getting used to, even for a veteran muso like Cole Lofnan, who normally uses a very different type of mouthpiece. It's a little like um, driving a mini minor and then getting into a truck, quite different. But for musicians and scientists alike, the work has been worth it. It has settled the secret of sax appeal.